Okay, everybody, this is The Last Raider. We're back with another video, and today we're in comic books. I'm taking a break from the Ghost of Tsushima videos, trying to find some content. By the way, if y'all want to see more stuff on Ghost of Tsushima, uh, send me something, because what something, something that one of y'all might see, the rest of the fans may not have seen, okay? And then I can comment on it and make a video on there, uh, on here on YouTube. But anyway... <clears throat> Today we're in here on something really big and really cool. Is that uh, right now Kickstarter has opened up a new campaign. Now for those of you who don't know anything about online Indiegogo or Indie Comics as we like to call them. Online what will happen is you've got these comic books. Uh, companies that you know normally or independent creators who normally can't get a comic book made. Uh, because you know politics and crap like that I mean, most people just don't have the reputation but majority wise it's politics <clears throat> so what happens is you go on you'll make your campaign you get some cover art set up there for people to buy and then you put it up on uh, indiegogo or kickstarter and you know crowdfunding comes along and you know funds the entire comic book for you and uh before you're done you pretty much you're you're selling the book you just have to complete it it's uh it's quite, it's been a money-making venture. It's right now, it's making almost 25% of all comic sales, which is quite impressive. But right now we have Keanu Reeves doing a comic book. They're using his likeness. Yes, John Wick himself, Neo himself, uh, is going to be in a comic book. His likeness is going to be there. And basically the, the gist of the comic is he is a ancient immortal warrior who's half man half god who is compelled to combat and is you know it's slowly driving him crazy but now he works for the u.s government with the explicit deal of he's going to help solve and do the missions that are too dangerous for regular mortal men to go deal with in exchange for finding out what he is and how to kill himself okay <clears throat> it's <clears throat> it's very, very impressive. It's a very good idea, and I wholly support it. But we have a situation going on also, because just like with Ghosts of Tsushima, where, you know, you had haters from The Last of Us Part Two who absolutely hated on it, <clears throat> you have comic book pros now who are hating on this. If a publisher won't invest money in a book by one of the biggest movie stars going right right now. Imagine how little they'll care invest how little they'll invest in a book by a creator trying to make a name. Uh this this is uh I'm not sure who this person is, but they, these are the SJWs they're going in. I can tell you right now, this is one of those uh they've got BLM pronouns in their name, all that good stuff. But I mean, this is this is the arguments that are coming out, you know. I mean, oh, how dare a big company come on to Kickstarter and fund their book before they get it? Which I mean is a made is a business decision. It is a very smart business decision because doing this, it's basically the comics gate method of making a, a book and making it successful. Uh, you go out there with some popularity. Or you obtain popularity, usually through a YouTube channel, mostly is how it's done. But uh, other people come in through other popularities. Uh, well, what they're doing is they're just taking the the popularity of Boom Comics, which makes all of the currently makes all the Power Ranger comic books, and apparently does a pretty good job of it. And the star power of Keanu Reeves, and they're using it to prepay everything for the book. Right now, I believe the book is almost a hundred percent is over one hundred times funded. At the moment, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I know it's it's fairly well funded already. So the people that are on the book are probably going to get paid very well. Keanu Reeves is going to get paid very well. And a lot of people are going to still get their books before it's over with. The books are expensive. You're, and when I say expensive, I mean... Well, actually, no. They're not expensive. The cheapest variant you can buy is $45. But you're getting three books for one $45 payment, which most independent graphic novels are about $25 for a graphic novel. You're getting three of them. And the graphic novels will just come into the mail. I'm seriously thinking about buying the softcover graphic novels because I'm like, 
dang, that would be something that I'd, I'd enjoy. Because I like having comics come in the mail now. It's, it's pretty good. So, I mean, I'd be interested in this. But, I mean, this this concept here of, oh, um, a publisher won't invest the money. Why should they? This is the thing about these SJW commies. This is why things like Call of Duty, Cold War triggers the frick out of them. Because they don't understand economics. Any time that you can get something and not have to pay for it, like totally up front, is a good business decision. Carpenters, by the way, I do carpentry. Carpenters do this all the time. When you pay half now and, and half later, the half now is to ensure all the material and paying all the workers. The half later is almost pure profit. That's what that gets done on the job. What what Boom is doing with Kickstarter right now <clears throat> is they're basically telling the fans, look, we will create for you this awesome comic book that you probably is so badass it'll never get made into a movie. It's so out there it'll never get made into a movie because Hollywood doesn't like new things. Eventually it will. I Actually, I would say this. This idea from Keanu Reeves has a better chance of becoming a Keanu Reeves movie now than it would have been if he just pitched it to Hollywood. Because this is proving that it has traction and Hollywood will take a risk on something that already has traction in a fan base. Okay? <laughs> and also, you don't have to... Also, here's the thing. We don't have to worry about finding the perfect actor because Keanu Reeves is the perfect actor for this. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, the comic book literally came to life. So, I mean, I expect this will eventually become a movie. And I think it'll become a movie really quickly if the, the book... If the books sell very well, which they seem to be, but the SJWs are just pissed. Uh, look, why should a company invest its own money when it can get everyone to pay automatically? They, they've already stated, boom stated, that they've got the money to pay for this already. It's like, why should they up and pay for it out of their pocket when they can just receive the money without investing any cash of their own? I mean, this 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 is a way that a comic book company can invest in multiple new co projects without having to, and even test the waters, because a Kickstarter really doesn't cost you anything, okay? Uh, for a comic book company, they just had to put out some project sketches and whatnot, throw it out there to the fans and say, hey, y'all, would y'all be willing to fund this? And if they get the money, hey, it's something that fans be willing to do. It's It's basically entertainment by democratic vote, okay? People vote with their money, and these the projects that win are going to be the projects that are good, that people want. Not the political bullshit that a lot of these people have. But anyway, going on here. More people. They're making it a pre-order campaign, though. The CEO even said Boom doesn't need Kickstarter to fund Berserker, which makes this really, really shitty all the way around. So yeah, just like what I said before, Boom's done said they could make this comic. I think what they're doing right now is they're just they're putting it on Kickstarter to see if it would be a viable idea. Because they don't, because here's the thing, you're taking a risk on a property. This is eliminating a lot of the risk. If the campaign doesn't work, you just refund everyone their money. It's not like the risk to the company is very minimal. And if it if it works, they end up with a very good profit. The the risk and return, <clears throat> the risk reward on this is very lopsided. Okay, your risk is very, very tiny. Just a couple concepts, concept ideas. But then your reward off of it, if it if it pans out, is going to net you a serious amount of money. I mean, you're going to be netted money no matter what. So, and, and you create a fan base while you're at it. I mean, this is actually really impressive. And it works out. Here's another guy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this doesn't bode well for the independent comic creators who actually need the money they make from Kickstarter. It's disappointing, but not surprising. Here's the fun part. Um, there's not a limited amount of funds for comic books. Okay? There's a limited number of creators, but not a limited... So, some people will back projects no matter what. All right? This idea... And then this is just a, another commie who's really pissed off. One more SJW who's pissed that, oh, you know, a company is getting money, but I'm not getting the money. Or these other SJWs are not getting the money. Um, here's the thing, most, here's the thing I would say, um, do a good book, get your name out there. Most of these people that I've got on here are just people that I was randomly finding through the comments, just hating on this. Okay. This is SJWs. They can't compete. They, they do what's called crack economics. 
They believe everyone in entertainment is a, every uh, person in entertainment or people who participate in entertainment, the fans, they, be, they don't look at them as fans. They look at them as crack addicts. And if they've got someone else who's beating them in the entertainment industry, well, they do what most crack dealers do. Uh, they don't do better product. They just do a drive-by and try to murder the other dealer. So, you know, yeah, we'll just kill him off and eliminate the competition like that. They, they do these uh, assassination attempts or uh, character assassinations online all the time, trying to assassinate members of Comicsgate. They did it with Ghost of Tsushima, or they went after the game all the time, talking about how clunky it is. And they did Operation Rolling, I call it Operation Rolling Re on, uh, what is it? It's like the Metacritic score, where they tried to bomb it. They're just rolling in the the bad reviews of Ghost of Tsushima. Same thing, same concept here. Uh, you have these idiots who are throwing a fit, trying to appeal, doing the emotional appeal. Oh, this is a company that's getting money. Like, there's a limited amount of funds. Uh, to, to, to them, it's like a welfare program. There's a limited amount of tax dollars, and some company coming here and just got a whole bunch of it. It's not limited. Boom is actually going after people who don't have, that are not... Uh, comic fans right now, which is a lot of the comic fandom, believe it or not. A lot of comic book fans have stopped buying comic books because they can't find good comic books anymore because everything has to be political. It's got to be like The Last of Us Part Two. That is comic books right now. The shit I could show you. I mean, the shit I could show you that has been in comic books recently. Oh my God. Oh, man, it's hilarious, the amount of SJW politics that are just to the point of propaganda, okay? But then uh, we keep going on here. This guy continues on. He gets asked a question. Why? How are people backing up Berserker hurt other people's Kickstarter projects in some way? This guy, here we go again. The money will go to this project that shouldn't need it at this stage instead of an up-and-coming creator's project that won't happen without it. Because to these idiots, there's no such thing as growing wealth. They think there's only a certain amount of wealth because that's how communism works. There's no growth of wealth. There's a certain amount of wealth and a bunch of people are taking all the wealth and leaving other people starving. That's not how it works. Okay, You want wealth, you go out, you work, and you can build anything you want. You can do it. It just requires hard work. If they're not getting there, mind you, Boom Comics is just further along than most of the ind independent creators. You can get out there and get it started. Uh, I'm doing something similar to that right now. I've got like three projects I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't picked which one I want to actually, you know, put some thought into. I'm writing them out. But the problem, but I mean, I've got this channel going so I can build up a good reputation, you know, build up a fan base of y'all, y'all wonderful, beautiful people. And then I'm going to, you know, put out some kind of comic book, and hopefully you people will love it <laughs> if my writing skills work out very well. But anyway, like I said, en enough of myself. I'm not got. I don't have a project to push right now at the moment. But like I said, these idiots they worry about a certain amount of. They think, oh, you know, there's only a certain amount of money. There's only a certain amount of wealth. If you ever look at farmers, you would realize farmers grow wealth constantly. I mean, they grow wealth constantly you just have to figure out what is worth something to someone else wealth is not just money money is just an exchange note okay uh, it's just something you exchange back and forth with each other as a monetary a symbol of monetary uh, value so that things are fair in a monetary sense uh, most wealth people are wealthy in land people are wealthy in health but, I mean, you take a guy who's got cancer and needs a blood transfusion, and then this other dude who's got enough blood to donate to him. The guy that's donating blood's pretty goddamn wealthy in health, okay? <laughs> I know some people don't understand. But when you stop looking at wealth as just having money and look at it as, you know, wealth is just having more of something than other people do, you realize that everyone has a form of wealth somewhere. Some people have a lot of intellectual wealth. Some people have a lot of creative wealth. And they can take, if, if the kicker is, how do you take the wealth that you've got and be able to sell it off to people who has it? Something that'll shock people on uh, this video. I actually have figured out how to, I actually own ground where the dirt is worth money. Okay. Uh, I bought a piece of land a while back that had uh, 
a certain type of dirt out there. And then the concept of it was there's going to be like a shop building built there. Well, one day this dude comes up, you know, he's talking to me. I, I kind of went in half, half with me and my dad. He kind of talks with me a bit about it. I, I, you know, we, we talk back and forth. He's like, well, I'd like to talk to both of you. And so he sits down, you know, he talks with the both of us and, you know, me and my dad are sitting there talking. He says, look, uh, would y'all be willing to sell this land? We're like, nah, we're planning on building something out here. He said, well, he said, I thought so. He said, how about if I have exclusive rights to your land, I can store my equipment out here. And we're like, okay, why? He said, uh, I, I need fill dirt for my landscaping business. He said, this area, this plot of land that you bought right here had the best fill dirt that was available in the area. It has the right content, I believe, of clay and sand, which packs just perfectly. And you don't have to worry about it eroding or anything of that nature. It also has enough nutrients within it that if they pour grass seed on it, it prevents the erosion by having more grass grow up. You don't even have to put sod on it. And he said, I'm willing to pay you guys a certain amount of money per yard. And my dad looks at me and he says, do you think this is a good idea? And I said, dude, he can dig until Chinese people start flying out of the hole. I don't care. Okay, <laughs> just dig to your hearts. Right now there's a big-ass hole on this property. <laughs> We're hitting the water table at this point. <laughs> but I've made, a pretty, I've made enough money to pay it off. Like I said, wealth is everywhere. You just have to know how to do it. And Boom Comics has figured out how to make wealth and figured out how to produce entertainment with very little risk. And that's what's irritating these people. Uh, they can't win because they're playing. Ca they're in a capitalist game, trying to play with communist rules. Okay, that's like playing Monopoly, but you're going to use Candyland rules instead of the Monopoly rules to win. You're going to try and win. Oh, I'm I'm going to try and get around the board and get back to the stop point, and I'm going to win. And everyone goes, "That's not how you win. You win when you get all the money." Well, that that's not right. That's how the game is played. Okay. All right, you want to win in a capitalist society, you got to learn capitalism. And capitalism is not very difficult. You just got to get more out of your investment than what you put into it. Very simple. By the way, folks, tell me what you think about Berserker by Keanu Reeves, Matt Kendit, and Ron Garney. Okay, this is, uh, I'm probably going to be backing this thing as soon as I get the money. Uh, I'm going to get the $45 tier because I'm, I'm a cheapskate. I don't have a whole lot of cash. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be three books. Should be awesome. Keanu Reeves is apparently right, has apparently come up with this concept. And uh, these guys are writing it and illustrating it and all that. So, it seems like it's going to be a good book. And I expect this to eventually be made into a movie. I figure Hollywood will get desperate enough. They'll turn this in. They'll be like, yeah, we got to turn this into a movie. Uh, we already know it works. It's We already got Keanu Reeves would be the actor for it. Let's do it. So, anyway, tell me what y'all think. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Also, share the video. It helps out the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.